Whether in a big city or a small village, your major expense each day is renting a bed. And you have lots of options. We'll review them from cheapest to most expensive. In rural settings, like here in Gimmelwald, I like simple, less expensive accommodations. Gimmelwald has a pension, a bed and breakfast, and a hostel. Europe has thousands of hostels, like Gimmelwald's Mountain Hostel, offering cheap dorm beds. While not for everybody, the price is certainly right. Rather than privacy in your own bathroom, you'll enjoy a convivial camaraderie, a helpful reception desk, a welcoming common room with lots of information and hiking partners, and the kitchen, where hostelers cook for the price of groceries. It's dinner time, and after a sunny day of hiking, travelers are sharing stories. Today, European hostels come in all shapes and sizes. Modern ones are often big and institutional. They come with inviting lobbies and modern facilities. Rather than the traditional large dorms, more and more hostels are offering smaller rooms, family rooms, and even doubles for couples. In cities or villages, the young at heart of any age are entirely welcome. A great thing about hosteling, especially if you're going solo, is gaining an instant circle of friends. For me, B&Bs offer an ideal combination of comfort and economy, privacy and cultural experience. Every country has private rooms for rent. You just gotta know the local word. Whose room is Norwegian? For chambre d'hôte, which is French. For Zimmer, which is what they say here in Switzerland, for bed and breakfast. B&Bs give you more than just a good night's sleep. Imagine enjoying a renovated attic with a view of this small town Czech castle being a guest in a home rebuilt after a civil war in Dubrovnik, savoring the salty ambience in the captain's house on a Danish isle, or being a noble for a night with Giorgio in the heart of Tuscany. Okay. Well, it's quite old. Tonight, we're sleeping in the home of Ollie and his wife, Maria. They teach in the village and supplement their income by renting out three rooms in their home. As is generally the case with B&Bs, the rooms are as comfortable as a hotel, but homier. While you're living in someone else's home, you can be as private as you like, just take the key and do your own thing, or you can go downstairs and get to know the family. This yellow cliff over there. Yeah, yeah. That's where the eagle has each year its nest. Typically, hosts enjoy sharing. Ollie knows the backside of the Jungfrau intimately. And the young birds in early spring, you see them starting to learn to fly. Pensions are a good value. A pension is a place without many of the services you'd expect in a hotel. This one's inexpensive, with the toilet and shower down the hall. The bedrooms are well-worn and traditional, and the place creaks just the way you want it to. And once again, humbler places seem to foster community. 